Welcome to my YouTube channel Mechanical Magic Mechanical Learning Tutorials. So in this video I am talking about barrel calorimeter or packet calorimeter. So this kind of instrument is being used to measure a dryness fraction of the steam. But it will be not considering as a exact methods to measurement of a dryness fractions. So just you can show over here the consist of a copper calorimeter which is placed onto a wooden block generally in a vessel form. The vessel is large enough to provide an air space over here. Yes, you can see so many air space is given to you. So this air provides a insulation to prevent a heat loss. So there is a no heat loss during the process. The top cover is made of a wooden lid. So it is close both the calorimeters and as well as vessels. So this covers the two holes over here. So one is for the passing of the steam over here and second is, is representing for the measurement of a inside temperature with the help of thermometers. So generally the stream is distributed in the water in the calorimeter by these holes in the with the help of bottom rings. So that will be easily mixed in the case of the barrel or a bucket kind of calorimeter. So just you can find over here it will be look like a bucket. So what happened with this kind of instrument over here? So in that case the experiment is generally used to measure a weight of a calorimeter with the help of weighting platform. So with the known value of the specific heat of the copper, we already know that the water equivalent of the measurement is being calculated. So then the necessity amount of the water is taken in a calorimeter and its initial temperature is being noted. So the calorimeter is placed in a vessel. The top cover placed in a position of the steam pipe is being connected to the main steam lines over here. So just you can see over here that will be the main steam pipelines by the such kind of arrangement so it will be into a copper calorie meter. So it contains and gives the out its entire enthalpy of the evaporation or you can say a latent heat and part of it will be called as a sensible heat. So due to that heat transfer from the steam to water, so here it will be the hot steam, it will be mixed with the water particles. So that will be heat exchange between the two mediums and the steam to water in a calorimeter. So generally temperature is being increasing over here. So in that case, what happened? The condensation of the steam will be increased, the mass of the water. So that condensed steam, now it will be converting into a water form. So in that case, the sufficient quantity of the steam should be blow into the calorimeter so that the sufficient rise in the temperature of the water and thereby errors are reduced to minimize. So in that case, the increasing of the water over here, the water, so the sufficient rise of the temperature of the water and thereby errors are reduced to minimize. So afterwards, the steam cock is being closed from over here. So what happened? The cock should be opened by the such an amount of that the steam gets condensed in a water and no steam bubbles is being formed from the water. So if this happens then the errors may be introduced into the calculations. So the calculation of a dryness fractions of the steam is being over here. So let us assuming some of the terminologies to measure a dryness fractions with the help of bucket calorimeter or barrel calorimeters. So let P or you can say pressure of the steams in terms of bar. HF1, so that should be at the condition at point number 1, 
Now you can say that enthalpy of a liquid because of the F at P in terms of kilojoule per kg. Here it will be a temperature T1 of water and a vessel before the experimentation. So that will be in terms of degree centigrade. T2 temperature of the water and the vessels after the experiments. So we already discussed that at initial condition you should measure a temperature T1 and weight and after the steam is mixed with the particular water particles so that will be increasing or you can say heat exchange take place so that steam is condensed so increasing the weight of the water particles. So for here HF2 so enthalpy of water after mixing at temperature T2 so kilojoule per kg now HFG1 so that will be the enthalpy of the evaporation of the steams so that will be in terms of kilojoule per kg now here we are assuming that MS so mass of the steam in terms of kg MW mass of water in a calorie mag in the calorie meter is kg mass of calorie meter so mass of the calorie meter in terms of kg CPW or you can say specific heat of water kilojoule per kg Kelvin CPC so C is indicating for the calorie meter it will be made from the copper materials so CP of C that will be equal to specific heat of the calorie meter kilojoule per kg Kelvin and we already discussed in my previous lectures X is representing as a dryness fractions of the steam. So basically in the calculation of the dryness fraction we are assuming that over here the heat loss by the steam during the mixing with the water so that heat loss by the steam it will be gained by the water calorie meter. So from equations so over here, so from the steam is being added with the water, so starting with the mass of the steam and the enthalpy of that particular steam, so HF1 plus XHFG1, so that will be the initial conditions of the steam. So from the main pipelines so that will be having a such kind of energies and it will be exchanged with the water particles so generally it will be dividing into three categories the calorie meter then the water and the converted water so starting with the calorie meter so mass of calorie meter then specific heat at constant pressure of calorie meter so C and the temperature difference so from before experiment and after experiments so T2 minus T1 for here so generally this calorie meter it will be made with the copper materials so take the value of CPC for copper plus the water is being present into the calorie meter we already discussed so mass of that particular water CP of water it will be before experiment it will be present into the calorie meters and the temperature difference T2 minus T1 now the third category and the important category so after that steam is passing through that particular main pipe towards into a copper calorie meter and heat exchange is being take place so that condensed steam now it will be converting into a water you can say fluid so that mass of steam having a enthalpy so it will be added into the second part so from that this you can see 
So just side chains of this one and common out the mass of steam. So H F one plus X F G one minus because of the side change H F two. So that should be equal to mass of calorimeter C P C and from here T two minus T one is common out. So just you can see over here mass of water C P of water into T two minus T one. So finally what we get over here so mass of calorie C P C divided by C P W. So just rearranging over here. So mass of water into T two minus T one. So just you can see over here the value of this it will be called as a water equivalent calorie meter. So generally such kind of instrument is being used for the measurements of a dryness fractions but this method it will be not accurate accuracy decreases as the temperature difference is being increasing so such kind of notation is being found with the experimentations with the application of the barrel or you can say bucket kind of calorie meters so if you like it then subscribe and share mechanical magic mechanical learning tutorials thank you